platform for discussion about the uh, strategic orientation that MAID has to take uh, to build its own capacity as an organization and the capacity of its, of its members and also the capacity of its beneficiaries and uh, uh, the presentations that came after that and all the interventions uh, provided a lot of input that is rich in terms of ideas uh, and also in terms of uh, questions for reflection and recommendations for future action. <coughs> the next panel is uh, comes in this vein and it will focus on strategic planning and action uh, and, and, uh, and uh, the uh, priority areas for the action plan uh, and we, uh, it will uh, build on all what has been said uh, during these two days. Mr. Uh, uh, on my left has been very receptive and I've been sitting next to him and I've been uh, observing him taking notes very uh, attentively uh, and uh, hopefully uh, we're going to continue the discussion that we've started this morning about uh, what needs to take place uh, in the future to consolidate the position and, uh, of MAIS and uh, consolidate its competitiveness. Uh, Mr. Representative for Shukran, thank you very much. I'm going to abide by the teaching of my colleagues saying don't sit down when you want to talk to the group of people. So I'm going to try to stand up as long as I can. And then I and I'll take the floor. It's okay. Uh, I would like to thank you all for having uh, made the choice to be here in Marrakesh uh, for this uh, meeting. Uh, this critical time of our year, uh, leaving behind families, celebrating very holy uh, feasts in your homes. So it's really appreciated. <laughs> and uh, I'd also like to take a minute to thank the organizers for having invited me to come here and to take part in this uh, meeting here and to have the privilege of talking with you. So if at any moment you feel that I'm uh, starting not to be talking with you and talking at you or something, just stop me or leave the room and tell them why you invite this guy here for conference. I'm really earnest because you don't have to. You don't have to. For one reason, I think everything that has been said has already been said. You have said it all. I don't think there is much to be said. I had sent this, um, these notes brainstorming notes, uh, which I started to do two or three days before this conference. As you see, uh, Bundoki told me, well, you are going to talk to us and with us and you're going to do this and that. So I said, well, let's have some shared common background. Uh, look at it so that everyone looks at it before we start. So that <coughs> I don't know whether you want to see this or not. But as you see, it's just jotted ideas. Uh, Brainstorming with myself, with colleagues, okay. Here we've been uh, in this business, uh, this association, or seen it being run for 25 years. Let's think about it and stop. Uh, so, what I'm going to do now is uh, try to uh, debrief. It's a brief, it's a reflective moment for us all. Things that have been said here from my point of view, which I hope is going to be. Uh, most of us, or uh, probably most of us. Now, another thing which uh, my colleagues who talked said that every speaker has to do is to introduce themselves. We know each other, of course. Some of us is for the first time in the world, but there are things we think we need to know about people. I am inhibited by or inhabited by few things. One of them is culture. I work with culture and I'm from culture and I've been working with culture for the last 15 or 30 years. The second thing is communication. The problem with communication 
in culture, in intercultural, in I think we can have to do this. We have to me to commit to paper if you are this. The third thing I want to do is performance. If you don't perform, I don't want to talk to you. I'm not to do with you. And I'm not going to waste my time with you. <laughs> performance. So we're going to try uh, things I'm going to say here. I'm going to be influenced by these <laughs> One thing I think I need to start with is that <coughs> maybe just like any other organization, is a context. It's a context. All of your organizations are complex by definition. Which means that addressing them, thinking about them, managing them, reflecting on them is going to be a complex activity or process. It can't be simple. So, if we try to simplify what we think, we have to take into account the complexity of the organization. And our organization is one of the most complex organizations for many reasons. We want to be national, we want to be international, we want to deal with so many aspects of a very complex profession. We have trainers, we have supervisors, we have teachers at different levels, we have people uh, focused on language planning, people focused on communication, people focused on information transfer, or teaching, so many things. And we all take the trust in the country. The country is not a Our country is not a simple country, of course. It's not a it's poor in this country, in this history, in this uh, expectations in everything. And we as an organization want to operate in this context. So we have to be tolerant of our failures or shortcomings. And we have to accept that we can be a very complex situation. The second thing I think is very important, which we need to do, and I think we can do it anyway, but which we need to make for because that's the very thing. We want to design a proposal for an action plan for our organization. That's what the session is about. What we're going to talk about are ideas. We're going to invite you all to react to. We see how. So that we put together all these ideas, formulate them in some way, and submit them to the leadership of the association. So as they commit themselves and bring these ideas in the format they wish to submit to us and to the other members of the general assembly, so that we discuss them and we approve them. We discuss them, we negotiate them, and we approve them, ratify them, as you say. That's our mission. And that's what we have to do here. Now, we want our decisions, our actions to be based on knowledge. I have my impressions about things. You do too. But my impressions and your impressions are not real knowledge. They become real knowledge when they have gone through a disciplined process that we all agree on. A discipline, a method that we all agree on. At that time, my impressions, your sense of are submitted to the discipline of and not, I don't want to, to, to use big words, science, academia, whatever, but some sort of discipline or agree on. We are going to go to a method or a approach. <laughs> that approach which I suggest so that all our work is based on knowledge, needs to meet some conditions. One of them, and I'm really very sorry to make an observation, we have less than 1% representation of women in this conference here. That's a moral. That's a moral. And I think it's the first time I see it in our organization. That's not possible. So we need an approach that's going to be based on gender. We need parity. We need equity. In all aspects. And one of them is gender. It is not possible that we continue operating the conference in this one with three three women. It's not possible. If I can respect it all, I would say it's an insult to our organization. In the first century, organization like ours, 
deal with advanced ideas. We want to do advanced management. Education and us to build an efficient economy. And we have freedom. It's not possible. So our approach has to be gender sensitive. Gender dies our approaches to develop knowledge and development of whatever we want to do. That's one. The second thing, we want to be environment friendly. When I say environment, it's a global environment. A culture, a society, and also environment. What we saw yesterday, very beautiful. A group of students with a teacher distributing plastic bags. It's very beautiful. It's our organization, causing some powers, who are sensitive and clever. We saw them planting trees. It's excellent. It's excellent. So we want to our approach to be rooted in environmental areas. We want it to be participative. Knowledge is developed in a non participative way, it is not knowledge. It is compression. It is feelings. It's not knowledge. So we have to imagine ways that are appropriate to us so that the decisions we make are based on knowledge that has been developed in participative ways. Participative ways that we agree on, that are critical to us, that are really true participation. They also need to be integrated and sustainable. We've seen many projects that lasted. Make the health initiatives, some initiatives, and the last one is the uh, ICT program, for instance, the, um, what is it called, the management uh, seminar, the big one. But the very other initiatives are delivered to God. And then, nine million. Why? So, we want to have this idea of sustainability in everything we do. Uh, so our organization, and I'm not going to spend too much on this, is like all organizations. And we need to know and to learn about how organizations work and what their problems are, etc. All organizations have problems. All. The difference is that some organizations address their problems in systematic ways, prioritize, uh, imagine solutions, assess solutions before they apply them, make sure that they are dealing with the real problems and make sure that the solutions we are thinking of are the real solutions to the problems. Because very often, and we have this too, we have a problem, we imagine the solution, but we are addressing other problems. Imagine other problems or solutions that we are not really addressing the problem. So we have to make sure that we are addressing the problem. Now, in the, the, the nature, if I ask you what is the major mission of our organization, what is it? What is the major mission of our organization? Promote unity in Morocco. That's. Uh, to promote LT. Promote LT? And it's uh, professional development. Why do you want to promote it? Is it not promoted? So promoting it is an action we want to do. It's not the mission. The mission is to want change. We want to influence decisions so that the promotion will lead to results. That's what we want to do. But the mission is to create change at whatever level that is making our it not promoted. Okay? So we need to do more to do. We want to make a change. How do we do that? We want to influence decisions. The people who make decisions, we want to be able to influence them so that we can promote what we want to do. So that's what we want to do. We want to influence decisions. Have we been able to influence decisions as an association? Well, no. What do you think? Some extent. Some extent, how much? Yes. How much? Did, did we ever? Yes? How much great extent in terms of the text book? About two pages. 
some other assets. We need to agree on these assets. What assets do we need to qualify for what kind of job or what kind of position? Not everyone qualifies for all positions. Some person, for instance, we often uh, make to teach trainees. Okay, you are a teacher trainee, you can attend and you can One guy had the first day he attended the conference, because he didn't attend the whole conference, he came and bought his car for 30 dirhams, it was 20 dirhams for a uh, And he became a full member of the association. When the election started, the first he said, I want to be on the board. Hey, that's nice. <laughs> but what can you do for this? So we need to think of how to make our democracy efficient and performing. Theoretically, in our association, any person who comes on the first day can run for any position. That shouldn't be possible. That shouldn't be possible. Not because it is an democratic. This is not an democratic <laughs> but it is protecting democracy. Protecting democracy and making so we need to know how to deal with these things. Now, there the are real risks. Risks. And not only risks. There are risks of implosion, or explosion of association. There are real, and true. We have lost some members. Or we are in the process of losing categories of members because of some reason we're not satisfied with it anymore. One category is Professors, universities, they really good for the organization. Why? They've been with us uh, for years, uh, some of them were in, in, in the world, or in the world, but one day they decided, you know, this does not satisfy you. Uh, why does it not satisfy you? We have six. You can divide these six into so many things. You talked about giving autonomy and independence of organizations. One, two, uh, six. So to these organizations, Maybe we need to go thinking uh, in terms of more autonomy and more opportunities to individuals or individual groups to uh, for visibility. We can understand, for instance, that maybe some groups don't think that they have enough visibility in the association. We need to provide for that. We need to give them opportunities of leadership as well. So it's things that we need to talk about. Another thing which I think <coughs> has been, not only in this conference, but in others, we really issue our conference and the in the association, we need to really make decided decisions about it. We have elected bodies. We have the local, the, the national board, the general council, then we have the regional branches, etc. So maybe when we were in an association with uh, 30 members, with more activity in the region, All this diversity of activities and actions, and with ambitions of the association, it has become, as my opinion, impossible to continue with this. We need to create an independent, manageable budget. People who are not there have nothing to do with the strategic level of the decision making. People who operate at the operational level, like all the associations. You have the right issues. It has an administration. You have the parliament. The president of the parliament, the members of the parliament, but they have an administration. They're not politicians. The people we elect are our politicians. They have the need to have the time to think about our strategies in the part where the implementation should be more professional. Now, if we have, for instance, to submit financial Are we able 
to fool them. I think we are. I think we are. We talk about partnership. Our partners as a But the ministry of education is the ministry of education. I don't know if the ministry of education has a right for this conference. And the legal summit, etc. Maybe there are other partners. These partners should be approached to provide this kind of sponsorship. I think it's not saying the ministry does not want or they, they, they close the doors, they don't, they don't have the choice to do that. We have to make them do it. And with a good and focused program, we don't leave them to choice. They don't have the choice but to do that because the law is with you. Because you represent the community. That community has to be visible, that community has to have a voice that carries, it has to be visible. And the ministry and the other partners would have no choice. But it is easy, it's a little bit of balance. So we have to do it. So we need some autonomy, capacity to do it. I'm just afraid of what I said. Don't need for some groups to play. Capacity to do it in terms of diversity, and working, etc. Uh, in uh, evaluation, we talked about, and uh, that we all know the importance of evaluation is it has to be not only continuous. When we say continuous evaluation, I think we've already failed. Evaluation should start higher than evaluation. Higher before we start the project, we need to design the evaluation procedure. Number one action or measure in any project is evaluation. Because that's how you know what you want to achieve. That's how you make the difference between what is needed, what is desired, what is wished for. That's how you make priorities. That's how you create the criteria in which you want to know if you have achieved what you want to or not. So we need to imagine for our action plan how to integrate the evaluation in everything we know or we do so that we have feedback in real time. Not two days later. We finish the program today, or one part of the program today, the decision making level of the part needs to receive a report. Reporting it has to be systematic for everything we do. Not for one or not the other. Everything we do needs to be reported on at different times or nodes of its articulation. If we don't do that, we don't do that. And it's not judgment. We're not judging. I say this is not. We're just saying, are we doing what we have planned to do? Or we have problems with this so that we make corrections. We may even decide to discontinue your program because during the implementation, you would have learned that there's something we need. That we have made an error of appreciating needs. Why can't you go and see money and effort and stuff? Uh, now, how do we do this? I think there are some ideas which you all know about and which are not in this document there. We need a white paper. This white paper is a general statement of who we are and what we want to do. So that everyone is going to do we have all these ideas about what we should be about, what we should do, what we should do, all these things that I do need to commit them to paper. And we need to discuss it, and we need to talk it. Okay, communication, I want to talk about communication. Communication is a very complex thing. That's very difficult only for us, for everyone. Our state has a communication problems. Our team has a communication problem. He tried to convince people to look hard for him and to take him to the process, and because he went out to the streets and said, No, we don't. That's exactly what I thought. Then everyone has communication problems. I think the uh, issue is maybe how are we going to do communication in what we do? 
one, participation in making decisions. Every decision that has to be made, every decision, no exception, has to be made in a way. Of course, we're not going to be involved in teachers, but we need to do that also we just need to make those and to make it possible for everyone, experts and science, and to verify whether their opinion has been uh, considered, assessed, taken into account or not. So the only way you can make communication efficient is to involve people, stakeholders, in the process of making the decision that's going to be communicated about. So, if I think of communication as something separate from what, from what I do, what I'm really doing is I'm excluding people from the real thing. But the real thing is not communication, it's to make the decision. If they were part of the decision-making process, they wouldn't need me or someone else to say, oh, okay, okay. Okay, there are four steps, are ways to it. We need to integrate this into our action plan. If we need training, no problem. <laughs> Someone was talking about why is he has to take the camera? We can outsource. Things are not our specialty. We have to outsource. We have the cat and Betty. We focus on our cat. And the other things, when we started playing, or when we we started, it's the members who need the tea at the coffee pot, remember? It's, it's the teachers who distributed the, the, the blankets uh, for a meeting. Now we're not doing it. Now maybe we need to go further. We don't want Sassy or our gentleman here just to be taken in. No, we want him to be here as a participant, to listen to the things that we contribute, and we need other people professionally. Now, we can outsource to an independent private person, or, or we can create our own. We can create our own. And here, we can create autonomous organizations or groups that specialize in many other things. And not our craft. This is very important. It is here. We can create something like um, my friends called it uh, thinking or team, institutional learning team. Institutional learning team to be one of them. I call it build it. Build it. And other organizations do it. We can, we have expertise, very experience, we have the availability of the We can contribute to the development of ideas. Programs, implementing programs at all levels, training programs. We can create schools. The law authorizes it. And this is an idea I would like to suggest again, yes. firmly. I had suggested it many times, and we had difficulties. It's not because at that time the law was not so flexible about it. I suggest, and I would like it to be to be in and to be so that it is discussed in the general council. Make should create schools, language schools. There is no reason the group comes from the United States or the United Kingdom or whatever, we create school. And they tell us, I have a charity, I have an association, we create a school team. And we are more than an association of the country school. Now we need to think about how why, etc. But the decision to make a school has to be debated and discussed. The uh, summer camp project experience was initially an idea to test our capacity to run language programs at no cost that would be popular and serving good quality teaching. And I think that many of you are aware of the, the achievement summer camps, which were done in many ways, in collaboration with the Delegation, 
with academies or with private schools or with uh, partners. Uh, pa partners. No, no, no. So, in many ways, the strategic decision has to be <coughs> It's going to. We don't want to compete with the private sector. We may make the decision that we want to service a population that cannot purchase the services of these expensive schools. We want to open our schools in popular areas. We want to make it possible for the group of students living in a village with one school, one high school, to be able to also go and have an extra hours in English. So we need to imagine that our school does not need to have three stories or 15 stories. Maybe it has a long hour, but why not? But it has to be flexible and it's going to provide us with the tools to achieve our mission. And to judge from the performance of the access to that, very good, very, very good, we see that in speaking like that, we see those uh, very young students acting in space like that, or it's, which means that it can be done. It can be done. Image, identity, and visibility, you can't do anything without visibility, and you can't do uh, things without being one, uh, one image. I think the association, and we talked about this before, needs to have a graphic chart. It's not possible to continue without a graphic chart. With every region, with different color, different way of writing the name, and it's not a graphic chart that's going to be the same for everyone. We need a business card that's going to be the same one for all our uh, people in our uh, boards, local, general, the same business card, exactly the same, with one thing changing is the name. One, we need a process. Organize our processes. How we make our decisions, how do we contact people? You heard about, well, someone, uh, people in local countries go and talk to these people, they should that. The problem is that we don't have one process. In French, they say, can you possibly The book of procedures. How do we do something? And every single person would have to abide by it. And we make ourselves visible by making our expertise available to people. And uh, that's what she did with her students when they were involved in community service. Community service is one way of Okay. So, uh, community activity and such a uh, what also things I think I have seen, I may have uh, not seen well, <laughs> is that there is a risk, let's say, there is a risk that many creates and all creates functions, creating causes for competition, useless competition. So we have to be careful when we want to create a new program, a new idea, and see whether we're not going to create useless conflicts. Maybe we may need at times to create something that's going to be an open, an open conflict with other organizations, but not within our own organization. So what I see happening, or what might happen, uh, is to see conflicts within our own groups. And that has to be avoided. And if you want a specific example, we can talk about. <coughs> now, mate cannot continue without one person who wanted to do everything. It's not possible. Bondoke is not Superman. He can't run the money, the, the, uh, the, the lunch, the uh, okay. coffee pause, uh, the uh, pictures. No, it's not possible. We have to have a system of delegating powers. Yeah. Delegating power should not be a choice. It should be in the Constitution or in the bylaws. So the bylaws need to specify we have 15 people in the, in the, in the, in the, in the uh, general council and five people in the board. So we need 
every person to have a given mission by the law, by the constitution. So dedication <coughs> has to become institutionalized if you want. Okay? Uh, fragmentation, multiplication, so as to avoid. Uh, okay. So we, uh, as also as professionals, as an association, wanted to have meetings and uh, contact and partnerships with everyone. We need to have uh, a minimum uh, standards or minimum standards of good practices and ethics. I give you an example. I give you an example. We want to go and meet the Pasha of the city or want to meet the governor. It happened to me. I had a meeting, we had a meeting with the uh, high authority and we called the teacher to go with us. It's colleague with us. And the colleague came with tennis shoes, jeans, and t-shirt and leather jacket. I told him, excuse me, you're not going with us. He said, why? And the person doesn't talk to me until now. Mm. He said, you do you judge people with the way they dress? I said, yes. In these conditions, I do. Because you're going to jeopardize the whole project of a uh, whole association. That person sitting there is going to judge you. The moment we're going to go into his office, is going to judge us. Oh, he said, look at these people. Another example. We were going to uh, organize a conference in Agadir. There was a team, and we had to decide where to eat and where to stay. Someone said, the person who's doing the budget, where are we to eat at the, uh, the, the, there is a cafeteria near the bus station, and there is a hotel, it's very cheap, it's, it's always going to be fine. I said, no, we're not going there. We're going to the best hotel, and we're going to the best restaurant. Because we present to people, we want everyone to know that this is their standard. Maybe we don't have now the possibility, to be, but that's what aspire to, that's what we want. And these people think like that. Okay? When I'm going to talk to those people, this is how they work, this is how their mind works. So we went to that expensive hotel, we went to that expensive restaurant. When the head of the office of the well called me and said, okay, uh, where are you staying? I said, at Hotel so so Oh, okay. And I said, but, I said, we're going to call you. Because we're going to be eating at that time. So where are you going to eat? I said, well, we made a reservation at such hotel, at such restaurant. When we went to the restaurant, we were hosted. And the person told us, are you the team from the Wilaya? I don't know. I, you have got to so 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 I said, yes, please. We didn't pay the restaurant. We didn't pay the hotel. And we had five-star treatment for the association and for the conference. So these are, we, we, we want that image. In the world, at least, in our culture, people put you where you put yourself. And, and we have a very simple thing. So it's, the things have to, be, have, have to be very, very clear. Now, finish it. Two minutes to wrap up. Okay, so the projects through which we can do these things. Uh, MATE has to function as a think tank, consulting firm. We need to be involved in research projects with universities, with schools, with academies. This has already been done, so it's feasible. We need to become or to create a publishing house. Everyone must be in a position to write a book. Or has written a book and can't have it published somewhere else for different reasons. <laughs> they must, and I think it is a necessity, an urgent necessity, to create a facility so that anyone who writes can submit the writing and has a team to help them shape up whatever they have written so that it is official. That's what everyone else is doing. Before. No one is expecting anyone now to write the first draft that is published. It does not exist anymore. You write a draft and it is worked on by an editorial team, specialists, and then you publish it. That's what we want to do. 
We want to be accredited and to be involved in accreditation. Now, this has become very important because now universities work with accreditation. They accredit uh, programs, degrees, etc. We as lay can contribute or can propose training programs in the university and run them in collaboration with universities. We have delivered degrees. It's already happening with other organizations, with other ministries. If the Ministry of Education has appointed it with us, we can do it with the pharmacy professional, with the Ministry of uh, 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 uh. It's possible, it's done. Awards, uh, prizes, uh, we were talking about raising funds. It's, I think it's the easiest part of our work, is, is uh, creating this, this fund, is creating funds, if it does it the right way. I'm sorry to say the right way. Uh, we, we talked about project focus or project based uh, management. I can't go to anyone and tell them, oh, please give me 100,000 no, dollars. He is my project, he is my target population, he is, it's a job. And I ask the people who are involved. If I need money for a football match, I'm not going to ask it for the tennis. No. So I need to do that. And I think it's uh, very often we talk of funding as a problem. Why funding is not the problem? Fund, funding is part of the solution. It's not the problem. It's part of the solution, which should be. Uh, so, recap. Knowledge-based decisions, clear mission for organization, uh, critical and attractive image, visibility, accountability and transparency. Transparency through participation. The financial aspect is a hot issue. And our association is protected by the law. The every board has to present a financial statement at the end of the Monday. And that financial statement is open to debate, discussion, to criticism, to auditing, etc. It's approved or not approved. And then it is published. And every single person who has a question is entitled to come and ask a question and want to understand. And every single group of individual can request that the treasurer give them time to explain because that's the funding but that's the money that has been collected using your name and my name and everyone's name I'm going to uh, I'm going to use uh, the privilege which I'm requesting of the being the oldest person in this uh, because in a few days I'm going to hear that. <laughs> so I have to do it before that. <laughs> that's what I know I'm going to do. Okay. Um, one thing is concerning management, and this is going to be the last part. Uh, I've already mentioned it, so I want to, more, uh, to say more about it. We have profiles, so we have, let's say, positions or functions or responsibilities in our boards. I want to suggest that for every single position, there is a detailed description of the profile to aspire for it, to run for it. Specific profile, each job responsibility. I give you an example. For instance, I want to be president of the association. That's fine. You have a condition. You need to have been a member at least four years. You need to have been a member of the regional branch at least two years. You need to have been a member of the general council at least two years. And then you run. And all these processes are the best processes because to each one of these you are elected by the people. But before you do that, you need to meet some requirements. One of the requirements. You need to have attended at least one training seminar, like this one, uh, management seminar. You need to pass the test on the constitution of the, of the association and on the history of the association. <coughs> you need, this is what's happening now in most world organizations. We want you to represent us. You're going to represent us and you don't know who we are, don't know our history, don't know our language, don't know our culture. It's not possible. Every organization has its own culture, its own language, its own tradition, and you need to prove 
that you are part of it, that you know these things, that you are familiar, and we as an organization are invited to set the conditions for anyone who wants to present us. So we need to find ways to express these things in the our constitution and in the proposition we're going to suggest to the world. Okay. Uh, reporting, we talked about it, etc. Uh, national rule and the regional approaches, despite what I'm talking about. The national board, and here I'm going to be very uh, uh, spirited, in addition to the, the prerogatives that the constitution and relevant legislation grant the national board, it should be considered as the highest executive authority to make. As such, it has the responsibility of overseeing the implementation of the decisions of the General Assembly, which is the highest deliberating and decision making authority of the organization. The National Board has, however, no authority of changing the decisions of the General Council, and of the General Assembly, and thus it is to suspend an implementation process for lack of resources or due to unexpected developments in the overall sustainable development of the association. In either case, the decision has to be motivated and convincing. The National Board prepares, on the one hand, the budget and the strategic choices for the organization, and on the other hand, it designs the action plans that include the projects and programs to be implemented. It is at the budgeting level. How much money? You indicate from whatever. Things, that strategic choices are expressed. You can't tell me why for parity, men and women, and you don't address it in terms of money, how much you spend in it. You can't tell me I want to develop this area, I just need to develop it from one area, how much money do you put in it. Every decision has to be expressed in money, in the budget. If it is not, then it's just ideology and it's just work. So maybe I can address the question of the relationship between national and local approaches when responding to your question. I'm sorry for taking the moment. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I uh, will use my authority as a chairman and uh, try to uh, uh, be uh, a good facilitator by trying to structure the discussion a little bit and influence. I'm so sorry, but not. Uh, one person on the road gave democracy uh, by excellence. Uh, you cannot imagine how. And then, immediately after the board, he said that we need to look for a participating mechanism. That is, we cannot, we cannot address all the person's uh, concerns individually. We need to have some. That some persons are elected and they are speaking for the disenfranchised and the boss. This and the boss is under the privilege thing. We need a body to speak for them. And if they don't do so via a democratic process, which is one person, one vote, then what is the interest? Instead, if one person, one vote, one time, if you close the box, this is, uh, of course, the interest. But the fact that one person uh, and uh, one vote means populism. The point is clear. Thank you. This is Thank you, Sia. Thank you, Sia Chen, for the nice presentation. Some beautiful ideas and the fact that uh, a trigger. Uh, a lot of reflection. We have more and more always different from the last uh, at mid and we are see that all the time. Uh, I think <coughs> uh, why we were uh, giving this presentation also from time to time trying to, to do at the title we were trying to account for this fact uh, for a seminar special education capacity building and leadership development. Uh, 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 I just see how so many 
Foi nesse caso. Uh, what do you need this year?
Or in any way, something which is the start of the person in the, 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 the organization of uh, NATO organization. Uh, I think I have it as a candidate and I'm a mid product anyway. I have been a candidate for 14, uh, 14 years now. Uh, that's the reason. I have been used a lot from, from that. Uh, there, there was a uh, original, original famous seminar which was organized here and it was a And now that's the last year we Because again, we will be obliged to put their names on, on our banners, which is which is an added value for them. We can buy those things from our own course. Um, this is a word of accountants, not of poets. It's true that we'd like to do community surveys, we would like to promote ELT, we would like to make change. Uh, Sizaki was right when he said it's change, it's lobbying that we would like to do from now on. With with the quality service Sizubir mentioned yesterday night that we are selling, we've got to ask for the pet, for the the adequate price to, to where we are selling. Uh, and uh, the plea is for the branches. Um, it's true that the national board should help branches, but it's we've got to ask what the branches are doing to the national board. I think it's high time the the representation of branches in national events became a must, became a must. At times we find that only two, three, four branches are represented in national conferences or in national events altogether, and then it's up to those 
members who would attend those national events to play the multiplying role or effect of what, would, what they, they receive over the cascading. Uh, I think I'm done. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nda. Next to speak, Mr. Nisha. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm, very, I'm very happy to be, to be part of the fair of the May's panel. Okay, my, my contribution is going to be very, very brief. Uh, I'd like to first of all thank Mr. Chairman and Mr. Abdel. In fact, uh, Mr. Abdel's uh, presentation was very beneficial to the student and science form. And I, uh, I mean, um, it was also uh, very inspiring. And I want to stop on, on, on a point, which is, uh, that is, of, I mean, uh, thinking of creating, uh, I mean, uh, schools, made schools in, in, I mean, every part of, of Morocco. I think it's, it's, it's a good idea, and we should do, we should work on it. Um, also, uh, I think uh, access is, is, uh, is a limited program, as we have seen just recently. Uh, and I think, why not shouldn't we, for example, think of, uh, I mean, investing on, on, on schools? Why not, for example, uh, uh, I mean, mobilizing and empowering teachers in, in, in secondary schools, primary schools, to create clubs, English clubs, so that uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, so that I mean the uh, the audience of, of uh, English in Morocco is going to be large. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, also, I have. Uh, I want, to, I want to, to voice a uh, strategy. Yeah. Uh, for example, uh, the idea of, of being born. I think it's, it's a good idea to have, uh, if we share uh, in uh, and etc. Uh, that we, we uh, work on, on this project, which is being born, and give a talk to the students so that they, they, they make friends. In, in different parts of, of Morocco. Uh, uh, I think the last point, last point. Yes, uh, I mean, uh, since, I mean, May is it's May to, maybe it's, it's a festival of meeting, gathering, sharing experiences, opinions. Uh, why not, for example, think of, uh, as a way of uh, breaking the ice or something, or as a way of socializing, for example, uh, we, we stop for a while, we go outside to play football, for example. In this way, we can, we can, we can break down the routine, we can come up with, with fresh blood, fresh air, so that we, we will get fresh ideas. That's but a very good suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Uh, next to speak. I'm not going to 
um, for, for phrasing, I think that the now the association made has 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 now different different events, different uh, it's, it's a, you know, days and these things. But now I think it's also like a time for the local versions themselves to integrate and, and to, to, to make actions themselves. I mean, they can even like they say, for example, uh, I mean, the gentleman yesterday or this morning said that, for example, we, we don't have any idea what the other branches what they are doing, and then as 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 a local spring, they they need some extent expertise, they need some experience. And for example, why can't we like they say for example, among the local branches, we can have like let's say uh, I don't know, we're thinking for example of having like uh, English day, for example, English day that all the branches can have, for example, like organize for a particular day, for example, let's say on let's for example choose the date and all the local branches. Are Thank you, Mr. Uh, the last uh, uh, intervention is uh, from Mr. Black. Actually, it's just a, a comment. I am just maybe personal <coughs> sort of emotional slide. I, I just want to say that I enjoyed every single moment of the presentation. I thought you did like talks on the structure of it. It's like starting first with the the diagnosis of, in other words, like, we would like to thank Cesare for providing us with this opportunity to reflect upon our association, its past, its present, and its future perspective. It's not just it's going on to but I'm suggesting sort of that toolbox in the end. I wish you had had, you had, had more time to talk about the other tools also like me and what award that existed for us to do was about that and it's a pretty good to talk about this. I like to be very inspiring to you right now. It's a comment. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm looking forward to start to get to respond to some of the comments, uh, queries, uh, Thank you very much. Uh, if I had time to address your issues, it is possible. Concerning one vote, one. Uh, I think what I meant was that it's not enough to be able to cast the ballot. That's not enough, that's not democracy. Uh, I can go and vote and not know what I'm doing. So democracy is more than the rituals. It's not, it's not a set of rituals. It's awareness. It's consciousness. It's uh, the power to make a decision. It's the power to lead. A person who doesn't know what offers are available cannot make a choice. So only the person who can be aware and be critical and can make a choice votes with a meaning. Otherwise, it's someone else manipulating her or her, whatever. That's what I meant. But before I vote for something, I need to know what it is. If I don't know, I don't vote. That's what I meant. So it's not counting the votes that said this will be for democracy. That's uh, uh, <coughs> the mission, of course, when I talk about the mission, there is no way an organization can exist without a mission. Now you can go to any big organization in the world. What is it? Toshiba, I don't know, uh, CIA, NASA, they have a big panel that says, our mission. You need to have it. The problem is that it has to be comprehensive enough and accessible enough to everyone. And everyone needs to understand it, identify with it, adhere to it and be committed to it. So that's the challenge, is how to formulate this, this mission so that it is comprehensive enough and powerful enough to create this adherence and this commitment. But you cannot avoid it. I, I, I see the problem we're talking about, 
And that's what we started with. Well, multiple plural, we have different uh, issues. And that's what the intelligence is going to be. But I share your concern about that. Schools, yes. Of course, uh, schools, uh, that's my opinion. I've expressed it before. Uh, it's not meant to be uh, an alternative to anything, to access or to uh, private schools. So we shouldn't be threatening anyone. If anyone feels they're threatened, that's their problem. It's out. If we decided, it's competition. And we're ready to uh, compete with anyone if we make a decision. And we find ways of doing it, inventive ways. Uh, the idea of uh, the public, there are different opinions. Uh, many people think that it's more a hurdle than a flexibility. Uh, what does it add to you in reality? It adds to you more constraints, aggressive constraints, and less flexibility in, in working. You, the first thing you create to yourself is before you, you, you implement any program, you have to go through the, the, the supervision of the government. Do we want that? I don't know. And it, it, it makes you more attached to the governmental organization. And your power is that you are non-governmental. And the farther away you are from the government, the better you are going to be. That's my opinion. It's not a uh, main opinion. Uh, <coughs> how, how are we going to work with it? I think that there are areas, of course, that cannot raise enough money for the school. We can imagine, uh, or we can just copy other people, doing compensation and solidarity. And that's the regional, it's, it's, it's in this state or the other one, the first one. We need to work with solidarity systems. Some people can't, and, and that's what the, the, the regionalization of the is about. Some areas are not going to be able to pay for, or to afford that, but others can. So we need to have, uh, I'll give you an example of for uh, the, the uh, fishermen. If anyone is hungry, they can go for lunch. Anyone want to continue to stay with us? Uh, the people can, and it's done all over the world, we can make a proposition. Everyone involved in the business of language and education in the country contributes 1% or less percent of their turnover to support these schools who want to create import and remote areas. It's a suggestion. It's open. Many of us have uh, private schools. I am sure that if you ask them here, they will say 1% I, I can do it. 2% I can do it to support. So we can be imaginative. Uh, Maybe uh, in Europe, that's uh, the decision, and that has to do with democracy. People made the decision. Everybody voted for it. I wouldn't have voted for it. Not because I don't want the EU, because I, don't. I worked for the EU, and when I was president, I sent a committee to the EU with, I think, 10 professors, whatever. But knowing that we don't have the means, and that our professors would not be able to afford it, we're going to do analysis at another uh, conference with five people. Who's going to be able to afford the conference for 3,200 or 4,200? Now, what we can tell, see, as we tell, and anyone who wants this, up, give us a proposition that's affordable to us before we start voting. We have, give us a proposition. If it's within our, then we can vote for it. Then we will be able to choose. Now we are not able to choose. Because we don't know, and what we know is beyond our, our control. But that's up to, uh, to MATE, because MATE can decide for political reasons, but strategic reasons, to raise funds elsewhere and to support and sponsor the country. And thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sorry, one more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Democracy is unfair. Democracy is always unfair. It's always unfair. Uh, because, yes, because of the things we've uh, talked about. And uh, in English clubs, we have the resource centers, they, have the, they should be developed. Uh, and uh, yes, that's, that's true. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Sorry for the problem. No problem. Uh, so just to, to wrap up, a lot of ideas have been thrown in the air. And uh, I hope that the reporters have been taking uh, notes very carefully. And uh, my personal hope is that this conversation is not over. It has just started. Uh, what we'll try to do, and this is a bottle, <laughs> this is the mandate of the board members.
members to uh, keep uh, this ball rolling. Uh, we'll try to structure all what has been said during the discussions and uh, during the, uh, uh, the presentations themselves. And an email will be sent to everybody uh, who attended the management seminar and also to other members. And uh, we hope that uh, this discussion uh, will be continued uh, so that we can uh, come up with a document to present at the uh, uh, General Assembly uh, when the National Conference is held. Deadline. Yes, and also a deadline is going to be set. I have a personal suggestion, and it's just a suggestion. I think it could be uh, very good to have a day, uh, a one-day workshop uh, to uh, work on uh, this action plan. Maybe 10, 15 people could attend, but that's a strong recommendation. Uh, but uh, it's just a suggestion on my part uh, as a participant. In, in, uh, no more. Thank you. Thank you.